Hi everyone. Welcome to Urban Space Aquaponics. I we haven't done um, an educational video in a little while, so I decided that we do one today. And what I wanted to talk to you about is a little bit about pest control. So I've written a blog on our website about cabbage loopers and how to control them using biological insecticides. So I wanted to get a, a bit more into the details of what we did, and I wanted to show you the kind of stuff that we use to do the control of um, cabbage loopers. So, what is a cabbage looper? It's an it's an it's an insect that will attack mostly lettuces. So anything butter lettuce, romaine lettuce is something that it loves, and it's a caterpillar that belongs in the family of the butterflies and, uh, and moths. So what will happen when it's hot and during the summer is that these insects will fly into your greenhouse or wherever your plants are, and they'll lay their eggs on these plants. And then eventually when the, when the eggs hatch, they hatch into these uh, small larvae stage caterpillars. As you can see there, we'll do a little close up on, on some of these insects. And they are, they are caterpillars basically that, you know, eventually grow up to become the moth that the adult um, the adult is in and these loopers the reason they're called loopers is because they move by looping so they go like that every time they move and that's why they're called loopers these um, now how do you control them because eventually if you're growing in, a, in in the summertime then you're gonna have problems with these loopers these cabbage loopers so the question is how do you control uh, this this pest. Now, it will it most likely come, you know, w during the hottest parts of the summer when it gets quite hot outside. These loopers are going to come and attack your lettuce. So one of the things that you want to do in an in an aquaponic system is that you can't use any chemical insecticide. So what's the option? We have to go through. We have to go to an option that would be completely safe for our fish, and you know, will not use chemicals that would harm our fish, basically. So the option that we have left is a biological insecticide. And the one that we use here is a bacterial strain called, it's called Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT for short. And what BT does is that it, uh, you know, it attacks, it, it comes in the form of crystals that you add into the water. And then the toxins in the, in the crystal will bind to the receptors into the gut of the worm. So the worm will basically eat these, uh, eat, 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 the, eat the BT and then the toxin will bind to their gut and eventually, you know, just try to uh, start to disintegrate their gut and their, uh, the looper will eventually die. So that's how this thing works. Now, you can't go out there and get BT, you know, in its natural form. The, the one that is used most, mostly in the industry is called Dipel. Dipel is a product that is a biological insecticide. It is exactly the same that I just talked about, BT. It's a concentrated form of BT, and this is what you would want to use in your system. How do you use Dipel? Okay, so Dipel is used, it comes in a powder form, so if I open it up for you, I can show you what it looks like. It's a orange color, if you do a little bit of a close-up, it's an orange color powder. It almost looks like, it looks like, uh, you know, iron powder or the chelated iron powder, powder that you know we, may, we are familiar with. And uh, the Dipel is uh, easy to use. The way to use this is just read the instruction that come on the book. In the instruction it says that you would need to use about, um, it says you would need to use about 100 grams or so for about 1,000 liters, but you have to double check with the instructions that come with the Dipel. And basically you just take that 100 grams and put it into a container like this one here at Urban Space. We use a, a sprayer like this one. It's a it's a eight liter sprayer, and the way it works is it's a air pump sprayer. So you just have to pump the the, the internal chamber and pressurize it so that it can work. And this is the sprayer nozzle that we use to spray our plants from uh, foliar leaves or or on the top. So take the dipel the recommended amount in the in the instruction sheet. Take the water in here. You know, you'll have to do a little bit of iteration to, to go from the amount that's recommended in here to the system size, or if you're using a five liter tank, then you'll have to do the math to convert that number uh, for the five liters. And then you add that dipel in there, and then you just basically mix it thoroughly. 
not the, the mixing is the one that uh, you know activates the bacteria in there and then use a sprayer like this one or any other sprayer that ha that you have available and then make sure that when you're going to your plants you spray them very evenly and you want to make sure that you spray them when the plants are at, at a much younger age because once they get bigger and if that's when you have identified the looper issue then it may be already too late so you want to make sure that you check regularly for your for your pets and if you see loopers then you need to spray dipel very quickly into the growth stage so the smaller they are the, m the more chances you will have get getting rid of them once you spray the dipel on the on, on the cabbage or, or the lettuce then the looper will eventually eat the bt and then have the negative effects that bt is designed to have and eventually you're going to start seeing them die off once they do die off uh, you will see a lot of the loopers are going to start becoming really brown and you're going to see them lie flat on your rack and pretty much start to decompose. So if you do have space around your plant, then what you want to do is kind of clean that up just, you know, for, for, for you know, keeping your rack clean. But in our opinion, or in, in our experience, I think Dipel works great. Uh, you do have to kind of keep an eye out for looper all the time and see if they're increasing. And if they are, use Dipel. Uh, it's completely harmless to the fish, it's harmless to us, and uh, yeah, you know, when you're using it, just make sure you, you wear some vinyl gloves. Uh, we use this respirator here, just so that we don't breathe, this, uh, breathe it in. It's just another precautionary measure we take, but it's not recommended on the instruction sheets or anything. So that's something that you can do. So yeah, um, I hope this video was helpful for you to kind of tackle that looper, looper issue. Um, if it was, please do leave some comments on the, on the comment section below and let me know what you, what you thought about it. See you next time.